Have you ever run across one of those situations where you're out looking at a house, nobody told you ahead of time, but you're out there looking at the house and there are solar panels on the roof. You didn't know it going out and you think to yourself, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. There aren't that many solar panels. How do I do this? Well, you're in luck. I've got Mark Bueller with me today. Mark is an instructor here at Appraisory Learning and he has a course on how to appraise solar. Mark, tell me, why should I as an appraiser take this class? Well, if you've been challenged by a client, a lender, about how did you handle the solar that was on the client, on the borrowers or um, on their rooftop or in, at their property, uh, and you didn't have a good answer or comeback for them, I can help you with that. If solar has become a pain point in your business and you're seeing more and more of that and you're kind of wondering how in the world would I consider contributory value there, um, that can help. And also, if you're in an area where it's new and emerging um, item into the market, you're going to need to recognize that and get out in front of it. There are certain parts of the country where solar has been around for so long that people are just really used to it. Um, there are other parts of the country, Tennessee, for example, where solar is kind of a novelty. Um, and And I have run across it where I have a house that has solar panels on the roof. Nobody mentioned it when I went, you know, when I took the order, I go out to see the solar panels and I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to call a friend to help me figure out how to do this to become competent. Um, before I took this course, I literally walked away from some jobs like that. I said, I, I don't know how to handle this. I'm not comfortable doing this job. After taking the course, I'm more comfortable with that. Do you think other appraisers would have the same experience? Absolutely. Yes. Um, you know, when we step into areas that are new to us and we question our competency, that's not a good feeling. Um, so I think that if you were to, you know, sit through the course and take on some new ideas, start to think about things a little bit differently, um, that's where we go with this and, uh, you know, help again, just solve that problem. Uh, in Nashville, it's not a big thing, uh, but I'm surprised to see some of the students that have shown up in the class in the places where they are. Um, it's becoming a thing. It is. It is. So real quick, you know, in, in this world of real estate appraisal, we deal with accepted methodology, accepted techniques. Give me, give me just a broad brush. I don't want any, I don't want to give them any secrets of the class. I know we're going to dive into them quickly, but, but broad brush, what are, what are the accepted methodologies for dealing with solar? Well, it's interesting you say that because there's, I'm no use path expert, but there's parts of it that say recognize methods and techniques that your peers would employ. Uh, I've been teaching this class for years and there's some rec there's some methods and techniques that I'm certain that many of our peers would probably wouldn't be aware of or employ. So we go back to the basics. We've got three approaches to value. We've got the sales comparison approach. We've got the cost approach and the income approach. And the sales and costs are very familiar to most residential appraisers. Income is a little bit different. And we look at that out of a different lens. Um, believe it or not, you can implement the income approach for solar. And again, we're talking about contributory values. So it's an isolated income analysis for the solar panels themselves. Integrated with the other two approaches to value because we need to have support from the market at the same time. Right, right, right. Mark, I'm really excited about this class. Um, and uh, you know, any any parting words you would leave with an appraiser considering this class? Well, again, you know, if you see this coming, if you're starting to see solar panels in places where you never saw them before, you may want to get out in front of it. Um, don't don't. Uh, decline an assignment because you don't have uh, competency in this field. Um, it's it's a small investment to take a step towards competency and and tackle these problems. And I can tell you the one thing that I've, I've followed is policy. And the policy is um, it's driving the adoption of solar in certain markets. Um, in my state, it's a requirement on new construction. So um, that's building code. So we're going to have to deal with it as appraisers. Look, if you're out there in appraisal land and you've passed on an assignment because there was solar involved, check out how to appraise solar with Mark Bueller at appraiserelearning.com.